Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for corn for Wednesday, September the 28th, 2011. Well, a change of trend today and here uh, we can see a candle with a lower high and a lower low. Previous days trading we had a change of trend to the upside that was really unsustainable with this spinning top doji type candle. A candle of indecision and certainly not the type of candle that you want to see a market rallying on. Today's trading, the bears have taken control of this market again and shown very strong commitment to taking this market lower. However, they did find support down around the uh, 60, 630 level, and that was a previous area of support. And two trading days ago, we saw the market find support at that level, and the sellers lose commitment around there. Today, the uh, sellers have taken the market uh, all the way down to that level and closed just at it. So they've shown very strong commitment on the day and uh, that will be a very big level for tomorrow's trading, this 6.30 region. Down below there, the next level of support that we have is at 6.14, and that's a very important level that's been tested on a few occasions, and uh, is very important if this market is uh, uh, not going to continue to lower levels, although the momentum that we can see in this market to the downside in the short-term time frame is very, very strong at the moment. And once again, this rally that we've had over the previous day has really been uh, quite unsustainable and the sellers have come back into this market strongly. In Ichimoku charts terms, the market is bearish in all three time frames. We have the market trading below the cloud, so we have a bearish market in the um, long-term time frame, bearish in the medium-term time frame by trading below the Kijun Sen and also bearish in the fast-term time frame by trading below the Tenkan Sen. Looking at the Chika span, that's below the corresponding price action and a long way below, so uh, that's confirming all of this bearishness that we're seeing in the market at the moment. If uh, we do eventually see a rally in this market, then the first level of uh, potential resistance that we should see is at the Tenkan Sen, and quite often when we see the Tenkan Sen pointing down very sharply, reflecting the strong downside momentum, the first area that we see resistance is at that level. So that's at 668, which coincides roughly with this previous uh, support and resistance level at 669.75. So that's a very big number for this market, although there aren't any signs here that the market is going to rally and uh, very doubtful that we will be trading up around those levels. But certainly for tomorrow's trading, watch this 6.30 region for a potential test down to 6.14.25. Next we'll take a look at wheat, and here we can see a change of trend uh, for this market as well. Uh, we had a couple of days of rally in this market over the previous few days, but very indecisive candles, very small green body candles, not the sort of candles that you want to see the market rallying on. And we had this uh, small green body candle at this, uh, trading up to this uh, uh, swing peak uh, with the large shadow on the top representing downside price rejection. So the buyers were losing commitment as they were trading up above 661.75. Today, the change of trend with a candle with a low high and a low low, a very large red-bodied candle that denotes the sellers making net bearish progress, closing the market in control and showing fairly strong commitment to taking this market lower. Down below here, we have support at 622.50 at this swing low. And here we can see the market reacted quite strongly previously from this area. And there is potential for the market to rally again if we do test around that region. We could see the market just poke down beyond there and uh, close up above. Uh, if we do see a, a this type of candle with the large shadow on the bottom, then we could uh, potentially see the market rally. But certainly the market is quite bearish. Second time frame downtrend in this market. First time frame downtrend, very, very bearish. In Ichimoku charts terms, we are trading down below the cloud, so we have an overall negative bias to this market, trending below the Kijun Sen, so bearish in the medium-term time frame. Uh, interestingly, the Kijun Sen is flat, so uh, we have seen the market attempt to rally back towards that level over the previous few days, but uh, they've lost uh, any of the momentum that they had, which was only very little, and the sellers have taken control of this market once again. Uh, bearish in the fast-term time frame as well by trading below the Tenkan Sen here, and also the checkout span, if we look here, is a long way below the corresponding price action. So that's confirming this bearishness that we're seeing in the market. So obviously for uh, tomorrow's trading, a test down to 622.50 is on the cards. Let's see how the market reacts to that level. If we see this scenario, then we could see the market rally, potentially back up to 661.75, but we won't preempt the market. Let's wait and see how it reacts.